the old armor was in pride of place. Genon clearly hadn't moved it. The table had been cleared. An empty frame rested against the wall. When they left, Genon's soldiers probably took everything of value. The tapestry had been flung to one side. Ramon was right. The window was barred. I wondered why Xavier Marquez had tried to escape through the library. The trunk contained someone's personal possessions, at a guess, Genan's. I wondered what secrets they might hold. The map had interesting markings and scribbles all over it. Georges would be so jealous. So, what is this place, senor? It is my family's chapel. It's not like any chapel I ever saw. Where's the altar, the crucifix, the Christian symbols? And this fresco, what's that? How extraordinary. It tells a story. It depicts the journey of my ancestors, the Cathars, and their escape from the hilltop fortress of Montsegur with the Tabula Veritatis from under the very noses of the soldiers of the Albigensian Crusade. Whoa, wait, wait a minute. Who are the Cathars? And, and what have they got to do with the tabula? The Cathars were Gnostics. They lived in the south of France in the 12th century, at peace with the Jews and the Catholics of the Languedoc. They preach that men and women are equal that God is within you, and that the Church is an obstacle to salvation. The Pope found their core beliefs abhorrent. The Cathars accused him and his Church of corruption. He condemned them as heretics. When the Pope learned that they were the guardians of the Tabula Veritatis, he conspired with the King of France and called for a holy war to wipe them out. The Albigensian Crusade was a callous, ruthless massacre. The final confrontation took place here, at Montsegur in 1244. The Crusaders believed that they had slaughtered all the heretics, but a handful managed to escape with the tabula, they traveled south across the Pyrenees along secret trails. They brought the tabula here to Catalonia to be hidden once more. Sadly, it was not the end of their trials. The Spanish Inquisition saw to that. Nevertheless, for generations, my ancestors continued to guard the secret of the tabula. So, you understand why la maledizio is important to me. It will lead us to the tabula again, so we can keep it safe from those who wish to abuse its power. The painting brought us up here, senor. We need to find out why. The fresco deserved a proper examination. The fresco was surrounded by dusty inscriptions. My Latin was a little rusty, but I could still translate. Ex igne puritas, from fire, purity. Ex luce veritas, from light, truth. Ex labore sapientia, from struggle, knowledge. Cathars being burned at the stake. Knights of the Albigensian Crusade. 
the mountain fortress of Montsegur burning after its capture by the Crusaders. A town of northern Catalonia. Cathars fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade. They seem to be carrying something. Cathars, they seem to be a town of northern Catalonia. Cathars, fleeing across the Pyrenees to escape the slaughter of the Albigensian Crusade, they seem to be carrying something. A town of northern Catalonia. A town of northern Catalonia. It was a candelabrum holding a single candle. I only had a few matches. Using one now probably wasn't a good idea. Just what this place needed. Bit of mood lighting. If only I had a few scatter cushions. It was a large marble statue of an old man with a beard. The statue held aloft a colored glass lens. These statues... What of them? They're just like the figures in the painting and on the fireplace. Indeed, they are the two pillars of the Gnostic faith in harmony. And the bearded one is Yahweh, Jehovah god of the physical world. The other is known by many names. Helel, Ishtar. He is the bearer of light. Luxfere. Lucifer. Lucifer? So you guys are devil worshippers? No. When he is in balance with Jehovah, Lucifer is the god of desire and ambition driving humans to be inquisitive, to discover, to advance. Just as Jehovah, when he is in balance with Lucifer, is the god of order. Jehovah stands for selflessness and altruism. Gnostics worship the harmony of both gods in balance. But what if one were to rule without the other? If Jehovah ruled without Lucifer, then, individuality would be surrendered. Mankind would be wholly conformist, mindlessly dependent. Mere pawns of a controlling power. And what if Lucifer ruled without Jehovah? Ambition and desire would be transformed into unbridled greed, and man would lust only for wealth and power. Society would descend into chaos, Disorder and war would prevail. Then, Lucifer would be the devil indeed. Marquez had told me that this statue was of Jehovah. The color changed from yellow to green. I removed the small leather cover to reveal a crude crystal lens. Colored light streamed through and shone onto the fresco. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue.
the mountain fortress. The color changed from yellow to green. Red light from the medallion fell onto the fresco, mixing with the other colored light. It meant something, but I didn't know what. The second passage read, And all shall know that the light of knowledge is blue, and that the light of life is green. For thus was the light of Eden, both blue and green, intertwined with the light of man to become pure. Hmm. Knowledge is blue, and life is green. Well, that was good to know. I wondered what color was the light of man. The color changed from blue. The color changed from magenta to red. The color changed from red to yellow. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. The color changed from blue to magenta. Colored light from the rotating glass wheel was refracted by the lens onto the fresco. The color changed from magenta to red. The color changed from red to yellow. The color changed from yellow to green. The color changed from green to turquoise. The color changed from turquoise to blue. Amazing! The light is showing the path, the path of the Bonzon. The what? The sacred trail my ancestors took across the Pyrenees, carrying the Tabula Veritatis from Montsegur across the mountains to this town. And which town is that? I don't know. That I cannot answer. But its coat of arms is quite distinctive. But how does it bring us closer to the tabula? He tells us the route the tabula took 800 years ago. I think that's all we're going to find up here. You're right. We should return to the hall. Eva will be getting worried. Okay, we found the root of the Bonzom Trail. How does it help us? It must somehow relate to the painting. <coughs> Papa, are you crazy? What are you doing? I'm fine. Don't fuss. You got me out here to look after you, so let me do it. Ramon is outside keeping watch. Georges, I'm glad you're safe. What did you find? 
There's a secret chapel above the fireplace. But it's not your average everyday chapel. It's a Gnostic chapel. All laid out for worshiping not one god, but two. What? I'll tell you when we have more time. You know, I found some things too, which might connect with all that. Come to the library. Oh, uh, could you bring the painting? I think we're going to need it. What are you doing with La Maledizio? Nico found something and asked me to bring the painting. I promised to take care of it. Eva, go with him. Make sure the painting comes to no harm. I should stay with you, Papa. Don't worry about me. La Maledizio is more important. Have you brought the painting? Sure, why do you want it? Because I found out what Ganon was up to. The Ganon who tried to buy the painting from Madovsky? No, Ganon who led the fascists here during the Civil War. Ganon who then spent months here searching for something. And who vanished one day, leaving that trunk full of goodies over there. You think he's connected to the Ganon who wrote the letter to Madovsky? It seems likely that they were related. Hmm, maybe. So, what's the plan you've uncovered? Take a look at this. It's Ganon's map. He was searching for something. Searching for what exactly? The Tabula Veritatis, I guess. You think he found it? I doubt it. If he had, then people wouldn't still be chasing after the painting. So why did you want me to bring it? See this scribble in the sea? It's the same shape as the circles around the Ouroboros. Yes. Genan thought that pattern in the painting had something to do with a map of Catalonia. So, I guess we try to finish what Genan started. I'd put money on those circles around the Ouroboros being places in Catalonia. But which places? Maybe the painting can give us some more clues. That would be pointless. That was never going to happen. A symbol was cut into the man's forehead. Simeon had claimed that it was the sign of the Tabula Veritatis. There was a tower within the ring. Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. If the fresco was to be believed, the town in that ring was at the southern end of the Trail of the Bonzong. But which one? The ring depicted some kind of castle gate. Positioned in the light cast by Lucifer and Jehovah, it had to connect to the Trail of the Bonzong. The map had to be the key. The pattern looked similar to the layout of the orbs on the painting. Ganon must have figured out that the orbs referred to various locations in Catalonia. the municipality of Terrassa. The village of San Ramon. San Ramon. Ramon told me he was named after a, a Saint Ramon. There's also a saint on the painting. Let me guess, he has a hefty padlock through his lips? The municipality of Maresa. The location didn't sound familiar. 
I needed to get up to speed on Ganon's research. The municipality of Mauritius. The municipality of Espe The municipality of Tadiga. The municipality of Mauresa. The mountain range of Montserrat. The municipality of Solsona. I couldn't be sure that it was the right place. The municipality of Severa. That was a total guess. Maybe the painting or fresco would have helped. The municipality of Severa. The location... The municipality of Col de Nargo. The municipality of Gandesa. The city of Barcelona. The municipality of Granollers. The municipality of Sort. There was a tower within the ring. I wasn't sure that I had all the information I needed to pinpoint the important locations. Eva. Yes? Do you have any idea what we should be looking for? What do I know? You're the ones who think there are secrets hidden here. This map is confusing. Maybe Ganon had already decoded it. There was a coat of arms on the fresco. A crown above crescents and stripes. I think that's Catalan, but I know no more. Your father scribbled some notes on this photograph. So, we have the painting. What do you need a bad photograph for? Do these notes mean anything to you? Some old religious texts. So what? Hey, Nico. Yes, George? Any ideas on what Ganon was trying to do with this map? Find the tabula veritatis, I guess. A moth-eaten tapestry hung on the wall. The window looked out onto a small courtyard. It had a grill of solid iron bars. The suit of armor appeared to be standing guard. I lifted the hat out of the chest. There was something tucked beneath the shirt. I picked up the folded note. It was a telegram.
I removed the oil cloth from the chest. I picked up the blanket. There was nothing underneath it. I had no desire to take the old boots. A pair of worn out boots lay in the bottom of the trunk. There was nothing underneath the other shirt. There was a folded shirt. There was a folded shirt. It was a well-worn hat. I put everything back in the chest. Eva. Yes? Any ideas? No. There's a telegram in the chest, but it's scrambled. Do you think there might be some kind of clues in it? I do. Just like the painting, Eva. This is real. Nico. Georges? I can't figure out how to decipher this telegram. Try to work out the shortest words first.
I deciphered the telegram. The tabula veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this 
from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emric of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. Eva. Yes? Any ideas? No. The Tabula Veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emric of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. Time to take another look at the map. The Tabula Veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emric of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. The municipality of Pos. I couldn't be sure that it was the. This was one of the locations highlighted on the fresco. And this was the starting point of the journey of the Bonon, the good man, the Cathars, right? The mountain range of Montserrat. Gainan had been researching the possible locations of the tabula. Perhaps there were some clues left in his possessions. The tabula veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emric of Girona. It was signed. Wolfram. The castle gate signified the mountain fortress of Montsegur. If the fresco was to be believed, the town in that ring was at the southern end of the Trail of the Bonzon. But which one? Inside the ring was what looked like an affluent town. The village of San Ramon, two locations down. If the vignettes on the painting were anything to go by, I needed to find two more. the municipality of Berga. The location didn't sound familiar. I needed to get up to speed on Gainan's research. I wasn't sure that I had... The mountain range of Mons... The municipality of Pocerda. I couldn't be sure that it was the right place. The municipality of Granoyes. The location didn't sound familiar. I needed to get up to speed on Gainan's research. The municipality of Vic. Gainan had been researching the possible locations of the tabula. Perhaps there were some clues left in his possessions. I wasn't sure that I had all the information I needed to pinpoint the important locations. The Tabula Veritatis was smuggled out of Montsegur to Catalonia 
by a group of Cathar survivors. I have confirmed this from confessions extracted by the Dominican Inquisitor Emmerich of Girona. It was signed Wolfram. Four clues, four locations. I just needed to pinpoint the location they referred to. The Dominican monk Emmerich was from Girona, the dog-headed priest on the painting. I'd found three locations. Now I had to track down the last one. The municipality of Granoyes. That was a total guess. Maybe the painting or fresco would have helped. The municipality of Maresa. Gainan had been researching the possible locations of the tabula. Perhaps there were some clues left in his possessions. The municipality of Berga. The municipality of Vic. The location didn't sound familiar. I needed to get up to speed on Gainan's research. The municipality of Granoyes. Gainan had been researching the possible locations of the tabula. Perhaps there were some clues left in his possessions. The municipality of Pocerda. I couldn't be sure that it was the right place. I wasn't sure that I had all the information I needed to pinpoint the important locations. The books were covered in cobwebs. They hadn't been touched for a long time. The map had to be the key. Four clues, four locations. I just needed to pinpoint the location they referred to. It was an empty frame. The painting had almost certainly been looted by Ganon's men. The scroll under the shield read Olot. The scroll beneath the shield read Figueres. The coat of arms was exactly the same as the one depicted on the fresco. It read Berga. Four clues, four locations. I just needed to pinpoint the location they referred to. So, the coat of arms on the fresco pointed us towards Berga. Then it must be important. I could see a pattern emerging. The locations had formed an odd cross shape, similar to the layout of the orbs depicted on the painting. This is the center point of the cross, so the tabula must be here. Montserrat, it has to be Montserrat. The question is, what's Montserrat? It's a monastery in the mountains, quite a tourist spot. But there's something else. I think it used to be a Gnostic refuge, hundreds of years ago. Bravo, my friend. Dovsky? No, Langham. No, it's Genan, isn't it? Very good, Miss Collar. So, what happened to the real Langham? He went for a long swim in the Seine. Now, I was expecting to have to rip this place apart and retrace my grandfather's steps, but I do believe you have saved me quite a lot of work. The tabula is at Montserrat. Who would have thought it? 
The old man will be coming with me. No, please. Take me instead. He doesn't know anything. And you do? I think not. But he is old. Eva, hold your peace, child. You can't do this. Oh, but I can. I will. Man is weak. Servile. Controlled. He must be freed. Freed from all constraints. Free to fulfill his desires. And you plan to raise the devil to achieve that? Not the devil. Lucifer. Now, if you don't mind, we have a long journey ahead of us. Come on. They can rot in there. We have to get out of here now. I assume that lunatic is as dangerous as he looks. I'm afraid so, Eva. I think he's killed before. You know, Nico, we were chasing Madovsky, but all along we were really up against Ganon's grandson. The window looked out onto a small courtyard. It had a grill of solid iron bars. The suit of armor appeared to be standing guard. Look, daylight. That doesn't make any sense. It's a false door, Nico. So that's why Marquez's father tried to escape through here. He didn't have time to open the false door. Aha! Uh -huh. Great work, Georges. Come on, Eva. Let's go. We need to rescue your father and stop Langham before he gets the tabula. Eva, I think you'd better stay here. Are you kidding? You'll need me, especially if there's a fight. Eva, it'll be very dangerous. Signora, you do not understand. It is my duty. Okay. We'd better check up on Ramon first. Sure. Then we will go and kick some ass. Couldn't have put it better myself. Montserrat was way up in the mountains, a major tourist destination. But we went there as tourists. We had an old man to rescue and an ancient tablet to find. And standing in our way was a cold-blooded killer. Why would the tabula be hidden up here of all places? For hundreds of years, the mountain has been kind of a sanctuary. There's an old Benedictine monastery up the hill. Well, I guess that's where we need to start looking. Wow, it's empty. Where is everyone? This place is normally full of tourists. I don't like the look of this one bit. At least it's not monks with guns. Don't even go there, Nico. Time to bring out the dumb tourist. <laughs> it's a role you were born to play, Georges. 